Alright guys, we are on the downhill. We are on the back side of Engineer, uh, the Animus Pass side. Animus, I'm sorry, Animus South. Um, you can see that little touch of snow over there. Man, I was really, uh, really kind of pleasantly surprised that there wasn't a lot of snow. I was hoping there was a little, but we're okay. And keep in mind, this is the last week of August, so um, it is warm here, 40 at night. 40 at night and uh, 65, 70 during the day. On the, uh, golly, I'm out of breath. I think the bike is perfectly conditioned for this trip. I think I'm the one that's the problem, jeez. So on the Alpine Loop, uphill traffic has the right of way, always. So far, everybody's been really courteous and worked together. <laughs> you know, part of you wants to just jump it, and the other part of you is like, no, don't get wet, don't get wet, don't get wet. <laughs> yeah, so. If anybody watched my performance mods on the DR, hey, and a shout out to, uh, the DR guy, man, he's probably been the most faithful and contributive to the entire process. But uh, hey, DR guy, just so you know, I know you're a big African twin guy, but for all y'all keeping up with it, all the mods we've done on the DR, the carburetor mod. The big airbox mod, the exhaust. Man, it's all working great. This thing is riding at 13,000 feet. As good as it rode at 300 feet in Mississippi. I mean, you hear all the horror stories about carburetors on this mountain. But so far, man, this thing's forever ticked there's a talk I'm loving it I mean I hate McDonald's but I'm loving this <laughs> yeah I know there's some haters out there gonna talk about the oh you're running rich you're running lean you're running hey guys cut me some slack I've gone from 9,000 feet 13 back down back up back down by the time it starts running by the time I get it dialed in I start back uphill <laughs> Postcard. Wish y'all were here. Man, look at this. You know. I know everybody fast forwards through the commentary and I don't blame them. I hate to hear myself ramble too. But I hope, I hope y'all stop and just take some of this in. 
I hope it causes every one of you to go by a DR and come out here and see this. This is unreal. Oh, real quick. Garmin, Montana, 700i. Listen to me, guys. This is for this is for you guys out there that are just like me. Admit it or don't admit it. You've got an overprotective wife, and she's. You start talking about this right here. Hey, I'm gonna go ride Black Bear on a dirt bike. Um, no, you're not. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, no, you're not. Next thing you know, you're sitting on the couch with a bag of Fritos. Watching reruns of Garage Squad Getting fatter because she said no you can't and you just said you know what it ain't worth the fight 700 I I'm telling you so Julie's really overprotective and cautious because it's just us and I'm all she's got 700 I has an SOS function and it's in my backpack it also has a tracking and report out I like to call it my wife's leash, okay? Every two minutes, the satellite pings my location to her phone. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. So every two minutes, she turns her phone on, she can see where I'm at and that I'm still moving. So that means, that's right, I'm okay. And that's all it takes for her. She's just gotta know I'm okay. So also with that function is texting. Now no, I'm not gonna sit here on the mountain texting back and forth, but if I stop somewhere like I did on engineer and take pictures and this, that, and the other, and I'm there for 30 minutes and she's like, oh no, something must have happened. She can shoot me a text and say, hey, are you okay? And by satellite, I can text back and say, yes, honey, I'm fine. Just stop, take a breath. You know, I'm fat and there's no air up here. And then she's okay. So the 700i also, we used it on the Talon. Um, so Julie's dad could track us, see where we was at. And, because let's just be honest, if something was to happen, that's the guy I'm putting my chips in that's coming for me. But uh, we was able to send out to all the parental units, hey, map share, and they was able from their phones track our whereabouts and location. So it gave them peace of mind too. So I'm not a spokesperson for Garmin, but I'm telling you, it does a lot of things your phone can't. This stupid thing right here, it's on here for the music that's in my ear. All right, and so that I know what time it is. It hasn't had service in like four days. Yes, I'm serious, four days. I've got service when I'm down in, at uh, base camp, but it hasn't had service since we left town. So, um, if you're an outdoor guy or you want to go do something crazy like this, not that this is crazy, but I promise you, you tell your wife you want to go ride across the Rockies, she's going to think it's crazy. It was, it was a very happy medium, meet you in the middle kind of solution. And uh, I'll try to get some commentary from her stitched into this to where, you know, she went from being a nervous wreck to, oh, yep, there he is. Dumbass is still moving. He's okay. So. Now we're on the downhill slide of two headed down towards Animus. And that's because that's where we're going to pick up nine at. All right, so. This is California, 
coming up on California Pass. I think they call this California Gulch. If you remember, I was telling you about the remnants of the gold mining days. This is it, man. So this is Animus Forks. According to the signs, this was the gold mill or the steam mill. Um, I'm just passing through. But this is what's left over from the man. You gotta admire them dudes. Imagine how hard life was back then. I don't think we can, dude. All right, guys. This is California Pass. It's kind of weird. Most of the switchbacks are miles long. This one seems to be just like a zipper going upside the mountain. Sorry for the breathing. For a fat boy, this is a workout. This is one of the better passes I've been up. your speed up the easier it is to maneuver or you could do the dumb luck method like I do gas it and hang on oh yeah I was going to be upset if, it's, if that's all it was. Alright. So as you can see, it looks to be pretty much one way. One vehicle up, one vehicle down. And there's the sign for California. I can see it. Back's doing good. Sounds good. Before we get locked in.
Sorry, we have.